hello guys i am in the deep south in july and it is 95 degrees and i'm sitting in a ice cold blowing lincoln zephyr now you might say why is that a big deal the reason it's a big deal is because 20 minutes ago and for the last two weeks i've been rolling around with my windows down and I'm, when i get out my shirt is sticking to me because I'm soaking wet. But I found a solution. I fixed a $960 problem for $24. Let me say that again. I fixed a $960 problem for $24. I have a Lincoln Zephyr 2006. The Lincoln Zephyr is also basically the same thing as the Lincoln MKZ. But this fix will apply to not only Lincolns, but also Ford vehicles. We know they are basically the same. Well, the problem I had was my air conditioning was not blowing. It was not blowing cold air. Uh, the compressor would not engage, and when the compressor don't engage, it's not going to pump Freon, and if it's not pumping Freon, you're not going to get any cooling in your cabin. Uh, so the first thing that I did was I checked my Freon. Freon level was a little low. And I had to add a little Freon, but the problem was uh, the Freon, the, 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 the compressor would not run. So under the hood, and there's other videos out there, I uh, directly ran a wire to my relay and uh, forced the compressor to run. Uh, when I did that, I realized, let me turn the air down so you can hear. I'm just so happy I have air. But... So I knew my compressor. I knew my compressor was not the problem. And I did a little research on the internet and then I found out it was my evaporator temperature sensor. Uh, it's a 24 part at the parts store. But the problem is, it's located way back close to you, next to your fire firewall. And if you go to the dealership or any mechanic to have it replaced, even though it's only $24 and it takes less than 30 seconds to twist it out, connect the harness, uh, it costs about $960. That's the quote I got. And the reason being is because you have to remove the entire dash of this car. That means everything have to be not taken out, but you have to at least pull it back. And uh, dealership told me it takes them about five to six hours just to remove the dash. But I find a quick fix that anybody can do. No, on a difficult level, one to ten, I would give this a two. A two. Anybody can do this. What this is, is this harness connects to your evaporator temperature sensor. So I went to the auto parts place and I couldn't find one for a Lincoln Zephyr. I could order one, but... It's close to the 4th of July. It was going to take like a week before it we got here. So I found one for Ford Fusion. Uh, so I bought the temperature, the evaporated temperature sensor. And here it is right here. And what I did was I took some connectors. And uh, I connect them to the back of it. That's in there. And then I went to this harness and I unplugged the harness. And you go to the third and fourth one at the top third and fourth one at the top and i basically stripped the wire at the end of uh, uh each wire and i took a uh, uh took the wire twisted and just stuck it up in the back of where those wires come out uh, on the internet you'll see people who, who who sorted them you know stripped the wires and sorted them um I didn't do that because number one, I wanted to know if it was going to work or not. So I just stuck it in the back of it and I took a something like a toothpick or, or clothes or, or a uh, paper clip and I just stuffed the wire in there so it could have a good stiff connection. And um, again, it's the third and fourth one at the top of that green harness. And you stick it in there. And you're basically bypassing it. You're saving yourself $940, give or take, and five hours or and or five hours of labor. And um, as soon as I started my car up, 
as soon as I started my car up. The fans came on, the compressor engaged, and it started blowing cold air. Um, there's no real fear of causing any damage because the purpose of the of the uh, temperature, the evaporator temperature sensor, is basically to make sure you evaporate it on freeze up. But in Mississippi, 95 degrees, your car is not going to freeze up. It's not a big deal because most cars prior to 2001, 2002 did not even have this part on there. So it is a quick fix for your car. And um, I'm going to put stick this back in here. And um, I'm going to raise this up and show you how I... It's kind of hard with one hand, but you, you see this little clip? You just push that back. It's on both sides. You push that, get it above that and over here. You push it and then it's back in. And you take it off the same way. Maybe I should have showed you guys that earlier. Maybe I should have showed you guys earlier, but you just push this in, push it down. There's a little, little thing that clips in there, a little string that uh, retracts but again this is a quick help ordinary guy running into everyday problems and whenever I find a fix you know I'm gonna try to pass it on and I encourage you to do the same thing the internet is amazing YouTube is amazing um, because things that would take forever to figure out or take tons of money to get fixed simple things like that you can find it on the internet so i found so much on the internet guys that i just decided that one i find little quick fixes to things that i'm going to do my part about uh contributing to the, that wealth of knowledge that's on youtube that's on the internet that i'm going to pass things on so i hope you guys feel uh find this video uh helpful in your quest to uh, find solutions to everyday problems that you run into so thank you until next time and until i run into another problem and i figure it out i'll see you guys